What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, man? I'm Moda Chart Guy, founder of Unbroken Mindset, and I'm here to drop some information on you guys, right? So before we get into it, please make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification button so you can join this Unbroken Mindset movement, man. Join the crypto family. All right, let's get to it. Yesterday, some dudes dropped about Ethereum burning over 700,000 coins. Burnt 700,000 coins. That's totaled up to 3 billion coins worth of uh, Ethereum, right? And the reason that they're doing that is they're trying to prepare for the move to Ethereum 2.0 or ETH 2.0, whatever you want to call it. So just to give you some details of what it's about, I got to show you or at least attempt to tell you guys where we're, where we're coming from and where we're trying to go. So with that being said, we're coming from a proof of work uh, platform to whereas the consensus mechanism on a proof of work, just say you have a group of friends, you have a group of six friends and you need five of them to, to come to a conclusion in order to go to the movies or whatever it is that you uh, are trying to do. And that's what a consensus mechanism is, right? So say, with proof of work, what they do is they have all of these computers and they put them together and they're all coming together trying to validate the protocol or validate the security system and protect it from a 51% attack. So that's what a proof of work in a sense is. So just imagine each computer being one friend and you give that one friend a, a, a crossword puzzle and that one friend has to... Uh, figure this crossword puzzle out just to get that validation on the proof of work um, platform or how it works, right? So every time they figure out the password, guess what? The group gets the, the Bitcoins or the fees or whatever it is that you're mining or Ethereum, whatever it is that you're mining. So now imagine trying to have a group of 100 friends, 300 friends trying to figure out the same password. So that's where the problem comes in because they're trying to figure out the hash word or these computers are automatically trying to do that, trying to figure out the hash so that they can get these fees. And if you can't figure out the fees or the less computing power that you have, the more time it takes, the more energy that it burns. So that's why they're trying to move from proof of work to proof of state because proof of work one, it is slower. Two, it requires a lot more computing power. And that's the main thing that you're going to need to have a proof of work for miners. Because whenever you're mining, you got it plugged into the wall. And guess what? It's taking its time to come up with that little hash or come up with that uh, using that consensus mechanism, trying to agree on what it is so we can get these fees, right? So that's what you're doing with miners. And just to give you an example, let's take billions for an example and this actually kind of happened in real life in iran they they had all these miners in one area and you know what happened they cut out half of the power it, it became a, a, a power shortage so that's why they kicked the miners out of guess what iran guess what they just did they kicked the miners out of china so in billions this same example just happened in in the movie billions they had a whole storage place full of miners because they were mining bitcoin and guess what happens in the city they have a power shortage they find out who guys are doing the power shortage and they kick them out of the city right so right now proof of work is not efficient it's not sustainable and guess what else happens the gas fees are horrendous right so they're trying to come up with a way to make it to where it's a little simp, a little easier, a little more sustainable, and a little more energy efficient. Even though, yeah, they probably could run these miners and and put them on some solar panels and and some wind towers, but that's too much. Like, right? They probably not going to do that. Government probably won't even allow them to do that. But they probably could do that, you know. But this is where proof of stake comes in. Proof of stake is going to be more sustainable. So if you think about Ethereum, right now it's doing 15 transactions per second. 
So under 2.0, it's supposed to do a thousand transactions per second, right? So it's supposed to be a lot more efficient. It's supposed to be more sustainable because guess what happens? It doesn't re require that computing power that the proof of work needed. All it needs now is whoever has the most money, they're going to be the first ones to get validated. So if all you and your group of friends get together and instead of trying to figure out that, that password or that crossword puzzle, you know what happens now? Hey, you give me 20, let me get 100. Everybody put that all in. Now, whoever has the most money gets that validation, right? And it's more efficient. Like I said, it doesn't use as much power because of the way that those consensus mechanisms choose the 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 block nodes, right? So it's it's random. It's very random. So they just pick one, and that's who whoever has the most money has the higher probability of getting chosen to validate that blockchain or that security protocol protocol on Ethereum or Bitcoin, because Bitcoin also uses proof of work right now too. But we're talking about Ethereum 2.0. So with that being said, <laughs> you have the the validators um using the 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 random the random blocks right and now it's more sustainable guess what the transaction times pick up now guess what those gas fees are not so high you know why because they have this thing called sharding in the 2.0 to where they're creating extra databases just to store this data that they're using those validators to create so now you don't have those slow transaction times you have the one main the one main node that's running all the transactions, right? And guess what? Gas fees go down. You don't have those long waits because sometimes you get Ethereum and you can wait for an hour. And sometimes you might get a failed transaction and now you didn't lost a failed transaction. You've lost that money. So you got to do it again. So I just wanted to give you some details on what the proof of work is and why the Ethereum 2.0 is so important because one, it's more sustainable. It's, it's definitely more efficient. It, it definitely is going to have more better security against 51% attacks because that's what you have to have uh, as far as a consensus mechanism to, you know, to choose the node that they're going to validate with, right? So proof of work, you look at the, the cons, it's not sustainable. It's not energy efficient because it requires so much computing energy that it causes power shortages in areas wherever it's a big mining format, right? Then you also got to look at the hash problem that they have where you have to figure out such a hard problem just to get that validation to get the, the fees and the funds, or you might have to go to a miner pool, right? And then also too, you don't have to pay for that expensive mining equipment. And then the mining equipment, when it goes out of date, guess what? They have another one. And now this one becomes trash. And now you also have old parts becoming, you know, unusable because you have all these updates with proof of work. So I definitely think this is something that's good for Ethereum. Uh, 2.0 would definitely make it better for everybody because I know I'm tired of paying high gas fees. So I think this is something you should do a little more research on. Hopefully I explained this video for you to where you can understand it. But um, yeah, make sure you guys tune in with us. And like I said, you deserve nothing, but you earn everything. And that means you have to do the research to understand what you're investing in or to understand what you're getting yourself into when it comes to this crypto. So with that being said, I'm Motor Chart Guy, Unbroken Mindset, I'm out.